Hello, hello, hello. This is V. Scott, and I want to thank you for coming to the second episode of Black History with V. Today, we will be talking about Gil Scott Heron here on Black History with V. He was born Gilbert Scott Heron, April 1st, 1949, and he passed away May 27th, 2011. He was an African-American soul and jazz poet, musician, and author, primarily known for his work as a spoken word performer in the 1970s and 1980s. His collaborative efforts with musician Brian Jackson featured a musical fusion of jazz and blues and so as well as lyrical content concerning social and political issues of the time delivered in both rapping and melomastic vocal styles by both Heron his own term for himself was blueologist which he defined as a scientist who is concerned with the origin of blues a little more on him his music most notably most notably excuse the way i said that on the albums pieces of a man and winter in america in the ni- in the early 1970s influenced and foreshadowed later African-American music genres such as hip-hop and neo-soul. Scott Heron is considered by many to be the first rapper MC ever. His recording work received much critical acclaim, especially one of his best-known compositions, The Revolution Will Not Be Televised, or music. John Bush called him one of the most important prodigies of rap music, stating that his aggressive, no-nonsense street poetry inspired a legion of intelligent rappers, while his engaging songwriting skills placed him square in the R&B charts. Later in his career, Scott Hearn remained active until his death in Death and in 2010 released his first new album in 16 years entitled I'm New Here, a memoir he had been working on for years up to the time of his death. The Last Holiday was published posthumously, posthumously, I, I'm sure I didn't say that right, but you know what I meant. In January 2012, Scott Heron received a posthumous. Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award in 2012. He also he also is included in the exhibits at the National Muse- Museum of African American History and Culture. And that museum officially opened on September 24, 2016. And that is um what I have on Scott Heron for you today. And I just, um, I found him by chance. Actually, I I had typed in like jazz poetry and uh, one of his songs came up and it, and it it caught my attention. And so I was like, dang, I, um, I like what he's talking about. Like what he have to say. So let me, um, go and check out some more of his music. And, um, I did, and um, so it was really um, eye-opening in a lot of ways where some of the things that he spoke about is still going on, still going on today. And um, so I thought it was interesting. We have um, come further than where we were back then, but some of the things still going on. And I just found it just um, actually just kind of interesting on um, some of his takes on things and um his outlook and just how he he said it you know it was just um really really uh actually mind blowing for me and um I enjoyed the work and I was happy to um have found this jazz poet it was uh, amazing to find his work. And um, I had never even heard of him before. I'm sure some of you have heard of him before. And if you get a chance, look him up and um, listen to some of his music. It's really, really 
eye-opening. Thank you for coming.